You already know the vibes, man. It's your boy Domrick, man. Now look, a lot of people been hitting me up about these green sleeves and this green headband and all that. And they want to know how they can get it. And look, so far, I haven't seen anybody else with it yet. But look, if you don't know, every season, 2K drops new quests. And low-key, I think 2K been listening to the community because, you know, a lot of people been saying, look, the reason why the rewards suck is because everybody has them, right? So they're easily attainable and everybody has them. So it's like, who cares, bro? Right? But now with these rewards right here, you actually got to work for them. You got to grind for them. You got to go out there. You got to put in the work. So as you can see here, this is where you go to find the quest, right? Now you're going to have to go to one of them little shops or whatever, go pick up the quest. And then once you do that, you're going to see here, it's going to tell you what you need to do. So if you want the headband, you got to go out there. You got to grab 500 rebounds and 100 steals. And then if you want the sleeve, you got to go out there. You got to get a thousand points and 400 dimes, man. So really, if you play the game enough, it shouldn't be too hard to get it. But right now, there aren't many people who have it, so it's still kind of cool, you know what I mean? And like I said, some people don't even know how to get it. Because every game I play, I got somebody messaging me like, Yo, how you get the green sleep? How you get the green headband and all that? Now, the only thing about it is, you have to do it all on one build. You can't switch builds, because if you switch builds, it's going to restart the counter. Now, for some of y'all point guards out there, I don't know how y'all going to grab 500 bullets, because y'all know y'all got 25 rebounded. So what you can do is maybe use a different build or a center build or if you got one or something like that. But if y'all really want the build to really get this done really quickly, bro, I'm going to help y'all out. Now, for me, luckily, I had just made this 6-7 build right here. Now, this build, man, I'm telling you right now, bro, this build does it all. It can score. It can dime. It can get rebounds. It can dunk, play defense, all that. So for me, it was like perfect timing because look, I'm going to be in the wreck grinding my build anyway. So I could do these same, these little two quests at the same time. Now, most of my builds are guards. So y'all know when you make a guard build, you know, you might put some rebounding on it. But most of us, we sacrifice the rebounding. But one day, man, I'm out here in the wreck and I'm just like, yo, this center is not grabbing any boards, bro. And when teams come in here with like two big rebounders and shit like that, it could get bad, man. And teams gonna end up winning games off of second chance points. And that is the most annoying thing to me, bro. I hate that. So in my mind, I'm like, yo, I want to make a build that I can help my big man on the boards or just get boards in general. But I also wanted to be able to be a playmaker and, you know, score the ball as well. And with this build right here, bro, I was able to accomplish all of that. I'm able to be a scorer, a playmaker, a rebounder, a defender, all of that, man. And that's exactly why I was able to finish both of the quests so quickly, bro. I was literally surprised when I went to go check my progress and seeing that it had disappeared because I already finished it. And because this build can contribute in so many ways out there, it's literally a triple double machine, man. And you know what that means for your rep. You get way more rep every game playing on a build like this. Like a lot of people don't understand, bro. It don't matter if you score 50 points. If I get 10, 10, and 10, I'm going to end up getting way more rep than you. This is why you see a lot of people run center when they're trying to rep up quicker because look, as a center, you're getting rebounds, you're getting assists on outlets and all that. And it's also a good chance to get a couple blocks in there too and some steals too, you know what I mean? So all that stuff adds up. But that's the main thing I love about this build, bro. It's so versatile, man. So look, I can change my play style up from game to game. If I want to be a pure glass cleaning type of player, I could be that. If I want to be a pure slashing type of player, I could be that. If I want to be a slasher and a playmaker, shot creating playmaker, I could do all of that on this one build, bro. And keep in mind, this is not a glitch build. This is a normal 6-7, bro. Now, I had a 6-7 earlier in the year, but I ended up deleting that build and making something else. But man, I feel like I slept on a 6-7 hype, bro. These builds are crazy. Like, it fits my playstyle so well. I think going into 2K23, I think my first build might be a 6-7, bro. I ain't gonna cap. If the build system is like, you know, similar or the same, I'm probably going with a 6-7 or a 6-8 out the gate. But let me show y'all what the build is looking like, man. So look, on the finishing, I went with the 66 close shot. That gives me that silver fast switch if I feel like putting that on. I went with the 90 driving layup because y'all know I'm big on driving layups, man. I feel like they're really effective. I use them a lot. I make a lot of contact layups and all that. Then, of course, I went with the 92 driving dunk. That way I can get the elite contacts. 
Because look, man, if you're a six, seven build, you better be able to finish at the rim, bro, or else why are you that big for? Like, what's the point? You feel me? Now, as far as the shooting goes, this is a max wingspan player, so he's not going to be the, you know, it's not going to have the highest shooting ratings, but as y'all can see, I can hit perfectly fine with these ratings, bro. And that 84 mini gives me that go difficult shot, so I know I'm big on that. And I also get silver blinders, silver dead eye. That's good enough for me, bro. I can work with it. And as y'all can see, I'm not having any problems. Now, I will say, this is kind of a skill gap type of build, man. Like, you gotta be able to time the shot pretty well because, look, y'all know I have a lot of builds, right? Now, when I come from a build with, like, a 93 ball and I come and play on this build, you instantly feel that you have to be more precise with it. The window is not as forgiving, bro. Like, you really gotta time it well if you're shooting threes. The midi ain't that bad. I mean, it's an 84, so, you know, there's more leeway there, but... For the three ball, you know, you just got to lock in and really time it. But if you're shooting out of the corner or, you know, on the line, you should be fine, man. You should be able to knock it down every time. As y'all can see, I even can hit some contested ones. So it's not bad, man. It works. Now, for the playmaking, y'all already know, man. I got to go get that gold bullet pass with the 85 pass accuracy, 82 ball control, 77 speed with ball. Now, I know that sounds slow, but trust me. This build can move, man. If you know what you're doing on the sticks, you ain't gonna have no problem getting open. Trust me, man. Now, defensively, like I said, this is a max wingspan build, man. So, look. I got 76 perimeter D on him. That gets me silver clamps. You know what I mean? I get gold interceptor, silver pickpocket, uh, silver chase down. But for the rebounding, this is important, man. This is really what I emphasized on the build. I get that gold rebound chaser. I get gold worm. And as you can see, bro, I got an 81 offensive rebound. So that's more than enough to be able to assist the big man on the boards, man. I'm telling you. That paired with the 80 vertical, I be horsing, bro. I don't know what it is, but I be getting up there and I be snagging. I literally had a couple games where I out-rebounded the big man, bro, by a lot, too. Not just by a little, by a lot. And y'all know I be out here with the randoms. And y'all know the randoms be breaking so y'all know man that old board i be on them offensive boards like a motherfucker man i'm telling you i be snagging them bro and like i said earlier second chance opportunities can make or break you in the game bro so being able to grab the misses off the boards you know what i mean and throw them back out and give your team another chance is really valuable man now the only thing that i regret on this build that i advise y'all to do is put some strength on it man that would have made this build extremely elite. I don't know how I would have done it, but if I could find a way to put like at least, you know, a 40 or 50 strength on the build, I'll try that, man. Because when it comes to rebounding, the fact of the matter is, bro, strength is gonna help you box out and it's also gonna help you worm people, you know, get them out the way so you can get around them to grab boards. So look, I know it's getting late in the year. Y'all probably ain't trying to make any more builds right now and that's cool, but look, man, I had to put this build out there, man, just in case, because look, I've been having a lot of fun on this build, man. And if you want to get that quest done, I promise you, this build right here is the one to do it on, man. I mean, I literally made this build like two weeks ago, man. And it's already at 99, bro. Because, look, i just been in the wreck, grinding, going crazy. And like I said, you get a lot of XP on this build because you're doing so many different things out there. So if you're a crazy motherfucker like me and you're still making builds in June, go ahead and try this build out, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. If you do make it... Come back, let me know what you think. Let me know how it is. Hit me up on Twitter at BeLikeDom. Y'all already know the vibes, man. Let me know what y'all think about 2K doing a quest like this, man, where you can unlock some special gear and stuff like that. Is that a W or an L? Do y'all think, like, it's, it's worth it? I mean, I know they've been doing that before. Like, they gave out the little hat, but you can't wear that in the wreck. And, you know, they gave the helmet for the park and all that, and that's cool. But, like, I'm just glad that they finally showing a wreck some love, man. Get a wreck something different. And, you know, just give us something to play for, man. And give us something that, you know, we can separate ourselves with. But, yeah, man, let me know y'all thoughts in the comments, man. But y'all already know the vibes, man. I appreciate everybody watching, supporting, leaving likes and all that, commenting. I know I already showed the attributes for the build and all that, the stats and all that. But I know some people going to ask how to make it still. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it play through. I'm going to let the, you know, the build process play through so I can see exactly how to make it. But, again, man, I appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what y'all think about the build. Let me know what y'all think about the quest. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, man.